Back on the Anglers Extra pregame show, I'm joined by John Schiffner on the manager's show. At Schiff, after winning the first game in Orleans, you guys have lost four in a row at home. At this point, you kind of just want to hit the road and get the heck away from Veterans Field. Yeah, not really. This is still our park. Uh, we're just, you know, we're, 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 we were better. Um, we definitely played, I thought, better in the doubleheader against Katua. We just didn't get clutch hits. Um, yeah, it's it's a funny game. It's just this something needs to click, and uh, you know we hopefully it'll be here at home. That's all you can say. The kids are working hard. Um, they're not quitting. They're they're battling at the plate. They're pitching on the mound, and you know we're, right now we're just not getting a lot of luck. We you know got to kind of get snake bit. So we'll hopefully we can get our way out of that. This is your 22nd year as manager of the Chatham A's. Both you and the A's historically have been pretty successful, but do you remember a team kind of starting this slow to start the season? Oh, God, yeah. We've had many teams that started like this. This is nothing new. Everybody goes through it. Every team in the league goes through it some years. It just, it just happens. I mean, last year, Wareham, oh, my God, I don't know what they were, 0-12, 1-13 or something like that. And, uh, you know, they made a run late. So it's, you know, it, this is not unusual. Uh, we don't like it, but... Uh, you know, we'll, we're playing hard, and that's the most important thing. And, you know, if you play hard, you work hard, things will happen. You know, things will change for you. Of course, long season, still 39 games to go. And Schiff, after Sunday's doubleheader, you had to say goodbye to a few guys who have been here for a couple of weeks. I know it only has been a couple of weeks, but how tough is it to say goodbye to yeah, some of those awful. players? It's terrible. Um, even though they know coming in, they're, you know, the chances of making a team aren't very good. The look on their face is just, you know, they want to stay. And that, that's a credit to the organization because of how well the kids are treated and, you know, what, what, what they learn in the little bit of time that they're here. Uh, but it's tough. And, you know, all those guys who we had to let go, and we still have a few more to let go. And, uh, you know, it's just uh, it's a tough thing. I, I don't like doing it. And, uh, you know, I, I, I don't envy the jobs of the, the professional coaches uh, at the higher levels who have to let guys go. It's tough enough here. And, and up there, you know, they it's a total surprise to them. These guys, it wasn't a big surprise because we tell them right up front, you know, the chances they're making it aren't very good. So it's still tough because they want to stay. And it's, you know, I wish we could do something. Well, with those guys gone, there are a few new faces. Drake Fraley from LSU is one of them. He hops right off the plane and goes into the starting lineup. What can the fans expect to see from him? Well, he's a good, big-time player. Uh, he's out of Delaware. He played his his high school coach actually played for me on the first Chatham A's coach team. I was the assistant coach on back in 1978. Paul Nickerbrug, and uh, you know it's, we were trading stories about Paul. It was kind of funny, but uh, Jake's a big-time player. You know he's got the five tools. Uh, he's got a real chance. Uh, he can play the outfield. He runs well, uh, throws well. He's he's a very solid player. I mean, if you're you know a freshman in college and you're sitting in the middle of the LSU lineup, you're pretty good. So uh, you know not putting pressure on Jake, but uh, I think we should see some pretty big things out of him. Well, today he won't be in the field. He'll be designated right. hitting. How come you guys chose to put him there? Yeah, just matchups. Just matchups and get other guys at bats and uh, see what we can do with the lineup. You know, they're throwing a righty, so we're going to throw the left as many lefties as we can at them. So, you know, that seems to work. And uh, we want to see Landon Cray play the outfield. He's been here several days and hasn't played in the field yet. So we want to see what he can do in center field and go from there. Well, Cray plays his baseball in Seattle, a long ways from here. What does he bring Another to the table? Chad May coached him. Elliot Kribbe coached him uh, this past year at Seattle University. So we're, it's the Chatham connection all over the place. Uh, oh, he's, a, he's an excellent player, excellent leadoff hitter, you know, classic little gnat. You know, he, he's not a big guy. He's not going to pound balls off the firehouse, but he's going to get on base. He's going to move runners over. He's going to steal a base, and he's going to play some pretty solid defense in center field. So, you know, we're, we're glad he's here. Well, Schiff, before we let you go, we know baseball is and will always be your favorite sport, but after U.S. soccer's nail-biting victory last <laughs> night, we heard that they have a new fan, and his name is John Schiffner. Is there uh, any truth to this? Yeah, I, mean, I just root for Team USA. I can't stand soccer. They need to do something with that sport. But, uh, you know, I'm yelling at the TV set because I didn't think they were stalling enough late in the game. I was saying, you know, attack that ball, kick it past that guy, and they didn't do it. They weren't listening. So I, I, could, never, I could never go for soccer. I think they should make the goal bigger and the field shorter, and it might be more exciting but uh anyway good for team usa i, I go go usa but uh, wow soccer is just <laughs> i can't take it sorry well we love baseball and shift we hope the anglers break the four game skid tonight good luck here a soccer player saying the same thing about baseball so it's an even match right there but thank you johnny that's manager john shifter now we'll send it back to the booth with dom catronio